Welcome back to Recap. We're going to be hitting Joe Bonamassa again. Uh, this is another song with Beth Hart. This is I'd Rather Go Blind. Okay, it's been a few days. Uh, I've tried to upload two videos since the last time I uploaded a video, and both of them got blocked. Hopefully th this one doesn't. Um, this is Joe Bonamassa and Beth Hart doing I'd Rather Go Blind. This has been suggested a couple times by a couple different people. So I'm looking forward to this because the first song I really was blown away by. I really can't wait to get more into both of their uh, their music. But I like them together as well. This song, they're, they're together. Let's get to it. Yes. Wow, so this next song, I remember, uh, I never knew it, and then when I got to make the first record with Joe, the Don't Explain record, I just fell so in love with it, and it made me think actually a lot about my dad, but uh, it's a beautiful song, and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, so what struck me the first time I, I heard her voice uh, in that last song I reviewed is the same thing that's happening again here. She has such a soulful voice. Her voice is incredible. I, it's one of those things that I, I can't believe I've never heard of her before now. I never have, and it's crazy to me. It really is. But um, she's killing it once again. And, I, and here's another thing. I have a video of Kenny Wayne Shepherd doing Voodoo Child for the Voodoo Child Challenge. Um, and it's board a cruise ship just like this. And it looks actually like the same ship. Like this, I'm, I'm wondering if they're on, they were on the same cruise and I'm doing two different videos by two different artists on the actual same cruise. If you know, let me know. But let's get back to it. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather, baby, be blind. Baby, don't leave. I don't want to see you go. Cause you see, I love you so much. I don't want to watch you leave. I don't want to watch you leave. Be free. I'm scared to be by myself. And I was just, I was just sitting there thinking hey. about your sweet kiss in your. Oh, 
Okay, once again, her voice is so impressive. Um, but so far, still not much from uh, from Joe Bonamassa at all. Uh, so far, just wondering where he is. I'm assuming we're going to get something from him. Um, this, I'm pretty sure the song wouldn't come so highly recommended if if it was just you know. I mean, I, I understand that Beth Hart, her voice is amazing, and that she could carry this on her own with no. You know, with basic probably about on her own, she could probably do this a cappella to be great. But I'm assuming that there's also something coming from Joe as well. Um, I'm kind of waiting for it now. I'm kind of waiting in anticipation because I'm expecting something pretty good. But in the meantime, I'm just enjoying her voice. It's so good. Let's get back to it. Just appreciate what you just heard. Just appreciate what you just heard. Go back and hear it again. Wow. Sitting up, sitting up thinking about you.
So I, I get it now why the song was so highly recommended. You're getting some of the best singing you'll probably ever hear, or less, probably the best blues voice in the business, or one of them. And then you're getting one of the best guitar players as well. Wow, uh, that solo was incredible by Joe. She's still singing. She was singing great. I mean, what does... And, and you know what, too? The, the backing band, the drums, the bass is... They're pretty, they're really good. This is, a, this is, it's, it's, it doesn't get any better, really. How are you going to get something better than this? What what else do you want? You want to, there's nothing bad. There's nothing in here that, that's lacking at all, in any way, shape, or form. Let's finish this up. And I said that I don't want to see me. So there you have it. I'd rather go blind. Beth Hart, Joe Bonamassa. I gotta say, I think the song was more geared towards Beth Hart and her voice. Although Joe did have a killer solo in there. Uh, for me personally, this is a blue song. This is pretty much what I want in music. This is what I want in a song. So how am I gonna give this a bad rating? Um, this rating, I'm not gonna give it a ten, but I got I can't I can't go lower than a nine. I, nine point five, almost the perfect, almost the masterpiece. Nine point five. I don't even really know why I'm not giving it a ten. Um, I guess maybe I can say the song itself. You know, it she's making it so good because of her voice. If someone else was singing it and it was like it's not the strength of the song. Or the, the lyrics that are so that it's so great. It's just her voice making it so great. So maybe I can say that's the reason why it's not a ten. Whatever we're nitpicking, um, this is great. It's going right in the playlist. Can't uh, you know? Can't wait to listen to it more. I'm really really happy for the suggestion. Really happy that I listened to this. 
you know, like I said, this pretty much has everything in the song that I want. It's got, it's got the, the guitar, the, the backing band. I got to say it again, the, the, the drums and the basses that were in there, they were really, really good. There were some um, horns blown. I think it, it was a saxophone. Very, very good. All of it was excellent. And I am curious about this cruise ship. Is this the same cruise ship that Kenny Wayne Shepard played that I did the other video on? If somebody knows, let me know. But that's going to do it for this. Um, I really don't have anything else, you know, to add. This was great. I, I loved it. I hope you do too. And I will see you later.